Hello, I just wanted to make a very quick video on some hints and tips around making a catalogue and some little tricks that you can use with Excel um, and your full list to get you into an ordered um, catalogue um, or a themed catalogue or a catalogue with a certain um, type of book in that sort of thing. Um, I was doing this for another publisher the other day and uh, just found a few little tricks that sped up the process basically. Um, it could be that I wanted a month catalogue or a quarter catalogue or that, those sorts of things. Um, now a lot of this you've probably got processes in place already for but um, some people won't or some people might be doing it a different way and might find this a bit easier. So that's uh, who the, who this video is for. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen now. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna use um, an Usborne list of books. Uh, they very kindly um, let me use their list of books for this training video. So, um, and I'm going to put everything I create into this hidden uh, folder so that uh, it doesn't interfere with everything else that we're doing with Usborne at the moment. So the first thing you'll need is a list of, so your full list of, of um, ISBNs you want to work with. That could be everything. Um, that, that might be a bit, well, depending on the size of the publisher, that might be a bit unmanageable. Um, so I've just got a list of um, 2023 titles, uh, which I am going to create myself like a, a master catalogue for. Uh, so um, I'm going to, first of all, create myself a catalogue. This is going to remain hidden um, because I'm just using it as a tool. Um, so I'm going to call this uh, Usborne 2023 Dan. It may not let me because I've already used that name and I'm going to keep it in my hidden folder. So create and add titles. Oh no, it let me because I deleted it. Lovely. Um, so add titles. I've got my list of ISBNs. Um, they're ISBN 10, but that, that, that it wouldn't make any difference. Uh, 13 or 10. Click on add. So that is adding those titles into my master list that I'm working from. Okay. So I don't need to do anything with this. I can just close it. So what I'm now going to do is uh, use an export to then uh, create a file that I'm going to play about within Excel um, and that I've developed these tricks to, to work within Excel. So first thing we want to do is go to other actions, select all. So that's highlighted everything in this catalog, as you can see. Um, and I'm going to export this to file. Now I've got a custom export set up with some fields added. Um, if you don't know how to set up your own custom export, there are lots of videos to, to deal with that. Um, but the extra columns that I added were publication date, um, thema, category code, thema, category description, um, and format as well, as well as the title, this, uh, ISBN, those sorts of things. You'll see that in a minute. So create. And I'm get there's my little file that it's created. I'm going to bring that over here. Okay, so we have ISBN title author. They're kind of irrelevant, really. List prices are relevant, although that might be useful for something you want to do. Um, but what we're going to deal with is uh, the categories, the formats, and the publication date. I'll just make that a bit wider. I'm just going to fix the ISBN as well so that it doesn't do the number thing. Okay, so the trick, really, it's not really a trick. Um, I use filters all the time in Excel, um, but uh, this is this is the, uh, the shortcut that I found. So in Excel, you've got up with your sort button, you've got a uh, filter. Okay, so if you turn on the filter, it puts this little arrow above everything. So this is great because now what I can do from Excel is go, OK, I want to do a first, uh, well, a January list of titles. Let's just keep it uh, simple. Now, what I would do to get a January list of titles is I don't want them all going in higgledy piggledy in any old order. I want some kind of order to my January catalogue. Um, as a book buyer, that's what I want to see as well. I want, you know, all of my nonfiction together, all of my fiction together, um, those sorts of things. Now, these are all children's books. So they're all 
FEMA code starting with Y, uh, except for a couple. Um, um, but what this means is I can sort by this column. So there we go. I'm going to do an A to Z sort by this column. Um, and that's put them, if we extend this FEMA description out a little bit, it's put them into some sort of order. So uh, there we've got the two that are not in a children's catalog uh, category at the top there. But then you've got the uh, early learning concept. I think that's actually a bit deeper than that. So the picture books together, baby books together, um, and so on and so on and so on. OK, um, but I just want January. So in publication date, I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to take out all of these and I'm going to take out everything and just do January 2023. Uh, actually, let's do a month that's actually in the future. So let's do, well, let's do this month, June. There we go. So we've got, if I click OK, a list of June titles sorted by category. Fantastic. So. I'm going to copy all of those ISBNs that, that that's now filtered. I'm going to go back to um, Edelweiss. I'm going to go back to the catalogs page and I'm going to create a new catalog. And I'm going to put this again in my hidden folder. Now, you, if you were doing this for real, you'd probably put it in your featured catalog, but you might put it in your 2023 catalog as well. I'm just going to put it in hidden. And I'm going to call this as for as born uh, 2023 January. Lovely. Um, and I'm going to create and add titles. I'm going to add titles and I'm going to paste that list that I just copied from Excel. Fantastic. Oh, I've called it January. We've already discussed this was uh, May. But June. So I'm just going to edit the name of that. There we go. So June. There we go. Save that. Fantastic. So now we have a June 2023 catalogue sorted um, by there'll be nonfiction, there'll be fiction together, that sort of thing. So that's perfect. You could extend that sorting out to uh, well, I'll, I'll show you, actually. Um, so let's go back to the catalogs page. I'll just do um, I'll just do July just to show you how quick you can then switch to the next month. So instead of pub date June, I'm going to do July. There we go. And now I'm going to select that new list of titles and to go back into create catalog uh, and this is going to be let's use that one oh like that bear with me a second as born 2023 july and create and add titles oh didn't select my folder there we go in my hidden folder create and add titles Add titles. There's my list. OK, now another thing you might want to do so you can see how we could build up our months really, really quickly and easily doing that. Uh, but the other thing I might want to do is create a list of, say, all of my um, books um, in a certain format. So I'm going to select uh, everything instead of um, uh, instead of just the um, July titles. And I'm going to use this drop down to say, let's just have board books. OK, fantastic. So now if I highlight this whole column. Oh, just make sure that does that. So there we go. I've copied that selection of titles and I'm going to go back to my catalogs. I will just show you something, actually, in the, if you're on your home page and you're in the folder that you're working from. So there's the folder I was working from hidden um, and you create a catalog from here. It automatically sets the folder so you don't forget. Uh, so let's call this board book. 
works. Fantastic. Create and add titles. Add titles. Paste. Add. Okay. Now, if this was me, I would probably be putting putting this in like a special folder, as a you know special formats folder or something like that. But here, immediately, you've got a load of board books to go through. And you can carry on this this filtering and using filters um, to your advantage uh, as much as you like. So I'm going to um, change it from just board books to everything again. Um, and then I might want to select an author. So let's choose, uh, choose someone with a few. Ba -ba -ba. Um, We need to unselect everything first. David Farr. Oh, only one. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, Fiona Watts, that's who I was looking for. There we go. Take out David. And OK, and we know that Fiona has a lot of titles. Um, now, you may this may not be for the purposes of selling into a bookshop. This may be, um, you know, to give to an agent or, um, or there could be all sorts of uses for this. Um, so we're going to create a new catalogue here and I'm going to call this Fiona Watch. 2023, lovely. Create and add titles, add titles. Great. So there we have a list of Fiona Watt books. Um, I hope mm -hmm. that that makes sense um, and how you could develop that to. Uh, you know, to, to any kind of thing. One of the crucial bits for me is the sorting before you start copying and pasting the ISBNs after the filter, because that automatically puts it into a, some kind of order before, you, before you're starting. Um, the only other aspect I haven't shown you, which is really useful, is if you just want to create a collection uh, or a catalog with all of your picture books, uh, sorry, with all of your certain, yeah, well, picture books um, would be a good example. Um, so in, you could use the Thema description. I'd probably use the Thema code just because it's shorter and easier to look at, um, but you could use the description, it just gets a bit wide. You can widen this, this out um, and start your page off somewhere else. Um, and then, yeah, pick out the categories that you want to include in your specific uh, catalog. So, yeah, you might find that useful. You might not. Um, like I say, a lot of the um, export design tools are already in our help section. Um, but do give me a shout if you need any help with this specifically. OK, thank you very much for watching.